At least 20 members of the same family have tested positive for the virus. 48 were traced and tested, leading to the result that may change as others are still receiving their results. This is what happened to the family of Nakuru-based lawyer Gordon Ogola. Let's begin our broadcast with our very own Raquel Mwigai. The body of the late Moses Osoro Ogola, brother to Gordon, succumbed to COVID-19 this week. He was earlier today ferried to his resting place at Ogwede village in Migori County. His death still a shock to his family members, who are yet to process that at least 20 other members of the same family have tested positive for COVID-19. This thing for most people is mysterious. We don't know how it works. So that the moment it is hard that one person has it, or two people have it within the family, you know, there's that scare that what is going to happen out of us? Are we going to be wiped out? Owing to police presence, curious villagers stood on rocks outside the compound at a distance, trying to follow what was happening within the homestead that was in mourning. According to Gordon Ogola, earlier reports that indicated 48 family members were infected were misleading, as 48 was the number of those traced for testing. So far, the, 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 the report that we have from the Minister of Health, especially those who are tested here, they're not more than 20. Among those infected include his mother, who is in the intensive care unit, as well as his stepmother, the mother's driver, who is a stepbrother, his brother's wife, two nephews, one said to have accompanied the granny to hospital in the ambulance. All of them are in quarantine at a facility in Migori County. This thing is there, and we must take precaution, so that you know, as much as the government is uh, always there on TV telling us to take care about corona, we, the citizens, should also come up. According to Mutai Kagwe, the health cabinet secretary, the family's situation is the end result of violating the set rules by the Ministry of Health. My information regarding this particular situation is that somebody came from Nairobi and went to Migori and there started that whole thing within the family. We have told people that they will take the disease to their parents. We want them not to do it. Some have already. So the only thing we can do now is to urge those who have not, please don't do so. Ogola, however, insists the infection chain is not clear on who may have been infected first in the family. He says his mother fell ill about two weeks ago and was rushed to hospital where she was diagnosed with malaria. Her condition is said to have worsened only for her to test positive for COVID-19. His deceased brother, who had taken the mother to hospital, fell ill a week later before he succumbed to COVID-19 on August 1st. Ogola says the family is taking one day at a time, warning Kenyans that their situation should be proof enough to those who have doubted the existence of the disease. Rakel Mugai, Citizen TV.